like to introduce the idea of independent events. Two events A and B are independent if and only if probability of B given A is equal to probability of B. Now, probability of B given A means uh, we are talking about the conditional probability, the conditional probability of B given A that is equal to probability of B. Then we can say that A and B are independent. That means, whether A has occurred or not, there is no effect of this on B. So, that is why they are independent or we can say that A and B are independent if probability of A given B is equal to probability of A. Now, probability of B given A is equal to probability of B implies probability of A given B is equal to probability of A and conversely. So, here we can talk about multiplicative rule. What is that? If in an experiment the event A and B can both occur, then probability of A intersection B will be probability of A into probability of B given A. So, this rule is coming from the definition of conditional probability, which is already covered, because we know that uh, we know that probability of B given A is equal to probability of A intersection B divided by probability of A provided probability of A is not equal to 0. So, from this we can get probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A into probability of B given A. What is this? Probability of A intersection B, what does it mean? It means that probability, what is the probability that both the events A and B will occur? What is the probability that A and B both the events will occur? So, this is equal to probability that A will occur into probability that B given A. So, probability of A, pro what is the probability that A will occur into what is the probability that B will occur given that A has already occurred. So, this is the meaning of this. Thus, the probability that both A and B occur is equal to the probability that A occurs multiplied by the probability that B occurs given that A occurs. Since the events A intersection B and B intersection A are equivalent, it follows from the above result that probability 
of A intersection B is equal to probability of B intersection A which is equal to probability of A into probability of B given A and this is same as probability of B into probability of A given B. So, they are all equivalent. Next, we consider one example. Suppose that we have a fuse box containing 20 fuses of which 5 are defective. If two fuses are selected at random and removed from the box in succession without replacing the first, what is the probability that both fuses are defective? So, let us try this example in this way. If A denotes the event that first fuse is defective and B denotes the event that second fuse is defective. Here we have to find the probability of A intersection B. So, we have to find the probability that both A and B will occur and that is we know that probability of A into probability of B given A. Now, what is that? First, among 20 fuses, 5 are defective. So, according to the problem, we know that among 20 fuses, 5 fuses are defective. So, that is why the first fuse is defective, probability of that will be 5 by 20. So, probability of A is nothing but the probability that the first fuse is defective. So, that will be 5 by 20. Now, once the first fuse is defective, it is now taken out and kept aside. Now, another fuse is randomly chosen from the box. So, the probability that the second fuse is defective will be that is probability that B given A. So, what is the probability that the second fuse is defective given that the first one is already defective. So, this probability will be 4 by 90 because one defective fuse is already chosen. So, the number of defective fuses will be 4 and there are 19 fuses remain in the box. So, that is why the probability that B given A will be 4 by 19. And so, the resulting probability that is probability that A intersection B will be nothing but 5 by 20 into 4 by 19 which is 1 by 19. Now, two events A and B are independent if and only if 
probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A into probability of B. So, this result is coming from the fact that probability of B given A will become now probability of B. So, let us um, see here because we know that probability of A intersection B is probability of A into probability of B given A. So, since A and B are independent, we know in that case probability of B given A will be probability of B and that is why in this case probability of A intersection B will become probability of A into probability of B. So, that is why we can say that two events A and B are independent if and only if probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A into probability of B. Therefore, to obtain the probability that two independent events will both occur, we simply find the product of their individual probabilities. Let us take one example here. What is the probability of getting two heads in two flips of a balanced coin? Now, we know that flipping of a balanced coin twice. So, if we flip it twice, they are independent. So, two flips of a balanced coin, they are independent. And as the coin is a balanced coin, the required probability will be half into half that will be 1 by 4. So, this is the probability that first flip will give a head into probability that the next one is head that is also half. So, that is why probability of two heads will be half into half and that will be 1 by 4 because they are independent. Now, suppose there are three events in an experiment. Event A, event B and event C. So, in an experiment three events A, B, C can occur. So, if we have to find the probability that A intersection B intersection C that is we have to find the probability that all these three events will occur A, B as well as C. So, this will be probability of A into probability of B given A into probability of C given A intersection B. So, that means the probability that A will occur into the probability that B will occur 
given that A has occurred into probability that C will occur given that A and B both have occurred. So, how is it coming? It is very simple. A intersection B intersection C. Now, A intersection B can be taken as one event. So, I can write it as probability of A intersection B into probability that C given A intersection B. So, I am taking two events here A intersection B and C. So, these two events. Now, if we, we consider these two events by the definition of conditional probability, we can write probability of A intersection B into probability of C given that A intersection B has occurred. So, this can be written as probability of A into probability of B given A into probability of C given A intersection B. So, in this way this will come. Now, if we have more than 3 events, then what should we do? If in an experiment the events A 1, A 2 to A k can occur, then probability of A 1 intersection A 2 intersection so on intersection A k. So, intersection of A 1, A 2 to A k. So, that I am considering. So, probability of that event can be written as probability of A 1 into probability of A 2 given A 1 into probability of A 3 given that A 1 intersection A 2 has occurred dot dot probability of A k given A 1 intersection A 2 and so on intersection A k minus 1. So, this result is coming by extending the case which we have already considered that is if there are 3 events. So, the way we have done it in the same way if we extend number of events, then we can get this result very easily. Now, if the events A 1, A 2 to A k are independent, then probability of A 1 intersection A 2 intersection dot dot intersection A k is equal to the product of their individual probabilities that is probability of A 1 into probability of A 2 dot dot probability of A k. So, this can be written as probability of A 1 intersection A 2 intersection dot dot uh, intersection A k that will be equal to probability of A 1 into probability of A 2 and so on probability of A k. Now, let us talk about total probability. If the events B 1, B 2 to B k constitutes a partition of the sample space S such that probability of B i not equal to 0 for i equal to 1 to k, then for any event A of S, probability of A is equal to summation i equal to 1 to k into probability of 
B i intersection A and that is equal to summation i equal to 1 to k into probability of B i into probability of A given B i and this is called total probability. Now, let us prove this result. For proving this result, we consider a Venn diagram partitioning the sample space from the figure. It is clear that B 1, B 2 to B k are mutually exclusive events. The event A is seen to be the union of the mutually exclusive events B 1 intersection A, B 2 intersection A up to B k intersection A. So, this is uh, so A the event A is the union of all these events B 1 intersection A, B 2 intersection A up to B k intersection A. So, that is we can write the event A as B 1 intersection A union B 2 intersection A union dot dot union B k intersection A. Now, since B 1, B 2 to B k are mutually exclusive events, we can say that B 1 intersection A, B 2 intersection A up to B k intersection A are also mutually exclusive and that is why probability of A can be written as probability of B 1 intersection A plus probability of B 2 intersection A plus dot dot plus probability of B k intersection A. So, this is nothing but the summation i equal to 1 to k of probability of B i intersection A and this probability can be written in this way that probability of B i into probability of A given B i. So, it can be written as the summation i equal to 1 to k probability of B i into probability of A given B i. Now, let us talk about Bayes rule. If the events B 1, B 2 to B k constitutes a partition of the sample space S, where probability of B i not equal to 0 for i equal to 1 to 2 k, then for any event A in S such that probability of A is not equal to 0, then probability of B r given A is equal to probability of B r intersection A divided by summation i equal to 1 to k probability of B i intersection A which is equal to probability of B r into probability of uh, A given B r divided by the summation i equal to 1 to k probability of B i into probability of A given B i for r equal to 1 to k. So, this is called the base rule and this base rule is very very important and it has lot of applications. So, how to prove this rule? By the definition of conditional probability, probability of B r given A will be probability of B r intersection A divided by 
probability of A. Then using the above result that is the result of uh, total probability, we can find the expression in place of the denominator. So, probability of B r given A will become probability of B r intersection A divided by summation i equal to 1 to k probability of B i intersection A, which is equal to probability of B r into probability of A given B r divided by summation i equal to 1 to k probability of B i into probability of A given B i and this completes the proof. So, in this way we are getting the base rule and uh, what is this actually? So, if uh, uh, in uh, some experiment it, there are some steps. So, we are doing something in the first step and doing something in the second step like this. So, and uh, so if it is asked in the other way that is the final event we know final event will occur that is given then what is the probability that before that it has occurred. So, this kind of question is asked. So, in that case uh, we can use Bayes rule and we can find the probability of uh, the conditional probability uh, that uh, that final event has occurred then before this this event had occurred. So, this kind of question can be tackled by Bayes rule. So, let us consider one example in this context. One bag contains four white balls and three black balls and another bag contains three white balls and five black balls. One ball is drawn from the first bag and placed unseen in the second bag. What is the probability that a ball now drawn from the second bag is black? Now, we have chosen randomly a ball from the first bag and we have kept it in the second bag and then we are choosing a ball randomly from the second bag. Now, we have to find the probability that if what is the probability that this ball drawn from the second bag is black. So, let us try this uh, solution in this way. W denotes the event that a white ball is transferred from bag 1. B denotes the event that a black ball is transferred from bag 1. So, these two events W and B, they are mutually exclusive either W will occur or B will occur. A denotes the event that a black ball is drawn from back to. Now, the required probability is probability of A and what is that? Probability of A can be written as probability of W intersection A union B intersection A and since W and B are mutually exclusive events, W intersection A and B intersection A are also mutually exclusive and that is why this can be written as probability of W intersection A plus probability of B intersection A. 
So, this can be written as probability of w into probability of a given w plus probability of b into probability of a given b. Now, uh, let us try this in this way that uh, we know that first bag contains 4 white and 3 black balls, second bag contains 3 white and 5 black balls. Now, we have to find probability of A which is probability of W into probability of A given W plus probability of B into probability of A given B. So, now probability of A given W. So, we have to find the probability that if a white ball is transferred from bag 1 to bag 2, then what is the probability that a black ball will be chosen from bag 2. So, that probability and this is the probability, probability of W is nothing but the probability that a white ball is chosen from bag 1. So, that will be 4 by 7 okay, because there are 4 white balls in bag 1 among 7 balls. So, 4 by 7 into now if a white ball is transferred from bag 1 to bag 2 in bag uh, 2 there will be 9 balls after this transfer and number of black balls will remain same because a white ball is transferred from bag, bag 1 to bag 2. So, this probability will be 5 by 9 plus the probability that a black ball is chosen from back 2. So, that will happen with probability 5 by sorry it will be 3 by 7 because there are 3 black balls in bag 1 among 7 balls. So, it will be 3 by 7 into and this conditional probability is nothing but that if a black ball is transferred from bag 1 to bag 2, then what is the probability that from bag 2 a black ball will be chosen and that will become 6 by 9 because now there are 6 black balls in bag 2 and total number of balls after this transfer is 9. That is why this probability will be 6 by 9. So, now we can calculate this probability that is 20 plus 18 divided by 63. So, it will be 38 by 63. In a certain assembly plant, 3 machines B 1, B 2 and B 3 make 30 percent, 45 percent and 25 percent respectively of the products. It is known from past experience that 2 percent, 3 percent and 2 percent of the products made by each machine respectively are defective. 
Now, suppose that a finished product is randomly selected, what is the probability that it is defective? So, let us try this solution in this way. The event A represents the product is defective. B 1 is the event that the product is made by machine B 1, B 2 the product is made by machine B 2, B 3 is the event that the product is made by machine B 3. So, we can write probability of A that is probability of B 1 into probability of A given B 1 plus probability of B 2 into probability of A given B 2 plus probability of B 3 into probability of A given B 3. Because B 1, B 2, B 3 these three events are mutually exclusive. So, probability of A can be written as probability of A that is probability of B 1 intersection A union B 2 intersection A union B 3 intersection A. Since B 1, B 2 and B 3 are mutually exclusive B 1 intersection A, B 2 intersection A and B 3 intersection A are also mutually exclusive and that is why this probability can be written as probability of B 1 intersection A plus probability of B 2 intersection A plus probability of B 3 intersection A and this can be written as probability of B 1 into probability of A given B 1 plus probability of B 2 into probability of A given B 2 plus probability of B 3 into probability of A given B 3. So, that is what is here. And this problem can be represented by this tree diagram also. If we have this kind of diagram, if you see probability of B 1 is 0 0.3. So, it has 3 branches probability of B 1, probability of B 2, probability of B 3. So, these 3 possibilities are there either B, B 1 will occur or B 2 will occur or B 3 will occur. So, probability of B 1 now from this we can go to probability of A given B 1 which is 0 0.02. In this way if we go along this uh, line we will uh, get probability of B 2 that is 0 0.45 and from this we can go to probability of A given B 2 which is 0 0.03. 0 .03 and along this path we have probability of B 3 which is 0 0.25 and from here we can go to probability of A given B 3 which is 0 0.02. So, from each of this path we are going to A. So, this represents the problem here. So, probability of A will be 0 0.3 into 0 0.02 plus 0 0.45 into 0 0.03 plus 0 0.25 into 0 0.02 and this if we calculate we will get 0 0.0245. Now, with reference to uh, previous example, 
if a product were chosen randomly and found to be defective, what is the probability that it was made by machine B 3. So, now we can apply Bayes rule to find this solution. Using Bayes rule we can write probability of B 3 given A is equal to probability of B 3 into probability of A given B 3 divided by probability of B 1 into probability of A given B 1 plus probability of B 2 into probability of A given B 2 plus probability of B 3 into probability of A given B 3. So, the values are already obtained. So, we can substitute these values here. So, it will be 0 0.005 divided by 0 0.006 plus 0 0.0135 plus 0 0.005, which uh, is the denominator is 0 0.02. Uh, 4 5 and the numerator is 0 0.005. So, it will be 10 by 49. So, that means, if a defective product was selected, the probability is very low that it was made by B 3 and that is all. Thank you.